How you doing, Calvary? This is Minister Godot, youth pastor here at Calvary Christian Center. AOD, how are you? I just wanted to say, first and foremost, we are dealing with one of the most powerful series that I've ever been a part of, dealing with the teen sex crisis. As the youth pastor here at Calvary Christian Center, I just have to say that I am building kings and queens, and these young women, due to this music, have been demoralized and desensitized to who they truly are as right, women. Right. Their values have always been strong in God, but now all of a sudden, because of this music, they're detouring and they're going off into a path of unrighteousness. Our pastor, Pastor Philip G. Godot, my man of God, my father, my, my mentor, <laughs> my everything, um, has taken it head on. He's taken it head on. You parents, I want you to understand that we here at Calvary Christian Center are 100% about changing these young people's lives. We cannot wait to show you the very powerful powerful impact that this message will have on their lives and your lives. I just wanted to say, man, man of God, you are the man. You are the man. You know, uh, as Nehemiah was talking about the crisis that we're dealing with, see, I'm concerned about uh, the attack against our youth, right. against our family, and against our culture. It's about desensitizing. Now what was wrong is now right, right. and what is right now is wrong. Ah. And we have to be able to bring an illumination yes, or a revelation yes, to you as parents of how to be able to handle with your kids because now we're seeing more rebellion, we're seeing more disobedience. Uh, I talked to a family last night and how their kid is now talking back at them. You know, there's things that this never was, but because of the music, the videos, the movies, uh, all of the different video games, and there's just so many things that are attacking our youth, our family, and our culture, we have to be able to find out what the Word of God has to say and being able to stand on that because it is the only thing that can change us. That's right. Thank God that we have Nehemiah to work with our youth and his team. Uh, he has such a powerful team of young people that are dedicated to helping your kids. And then also my team, and we're together, we're working together to make a difference with your youth yes. and your family and to be able to promote the culture of righteousness and doing right. So we're looking forward to this whole series that we're doing, Nehemiah, yes, on, team, uh, on team sex, dating, dating. Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend. It's an epidemic, The sir. whole thing. It's an epidemic. Just being able to understand we're not attacking, but all we're doing is trying to be able to inform or uh, to help you to be able to recognize what is going on. And I thank God for all the parents that have just come to me and said, thank you, Pastor, for this. Wow. And please don't wow. stop it. They asked me not to stop the series. i got some people that don't like it. Of course. But, I, you know, I understand that. So we're looking forward to working together. Thank God again for Nehemiah, his team. And let's work together. We need your prayer, and we're going to make this thing happen. And we're going to bust the devil right between the eyes. Bang. Bang. Remember this, AOD, if God ain't in it. <laughs> We ain't with it. If God ain't in it, is that a, what is it? That's our new, our new phrase is, for the whole it? year, for what 2012. If God ain't in it, God ain't in it, we ain't with it. We ain't with it. If God ain't in it, we ain't with it. That's what I'm talking about. Peace. No matter how perverted it is, the words, the lyrics, the music go straight into my heart. I think pastor's hitting it on the nose and basically uh, exposing these people for what we already have known uh, to be true. This message for teens and adults is actually here to help us so that we're not seduced by spirits and things that are trying to draw us away from what's right. I wish we would actually just start a campaign and more Christians would stick out. Our leaders would come out and uh, expose these people because our children are listening to them and our kids are listening to them and it's just, it's just utter corruption. And I can see how the music and the TV shows and whatever else you know we watch and stuff and music videos and mm -hmm. stuff that we listen to I, I can under definitely understand that it's the wrong stuff the devil can be stopped get out of that seat and come up here right now in Jesus name one more time shame the devil come and get the spirit of Christ get out of the seat and get up here right now I believe pastor has only given a very small piece of what really is the reality of this crisis. Um, there is so much that is going out in these videos, these commercials. Father, I cover these men and women in the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood over their minds. When you're not mature and you're still a baby, those things can 
affect you still to try to hold you back from what God has for you, your future, you know, your destiny, your purpose.